Welcome to another startup and complete car documentation. What we're looking at today is a 2019 Ford Mustang EcoBoost Premium Convertible. This Mustang Convertible is painted in shadow black with a black convertible soft top. This one has an ebony interior and the premium trim adds leather seats. It does have smart key access. Frameless windows, of course. On the door panels, you have storage areas. And of course, your power windows, locks, and mirrors. The front seats are both partially powered. Now, let's go ahead and start the engine. On the key fob, you have the buttons for lock, unlock, remote start, trunk release, and panic. And along with smart key, it has the push button ignition. Now it may sound cliche at this point, but it is hard to deny that the Ford Mustang is nothing short of an icon. The Mustang made its debut for the 1965 model year and has been in continuous production ever since. When it was released, it was a huge hit with consumers and truly put the pony car on the map. It also inspired a number of competitors, including the two most famous ones, the Chevy Camaro and Dodge Challenger. Since its launch, the Mustang has lasted six generations with most receiving one or more major updates at some point. Ford has since introduced a second model with the famed Mustang nameplate, in the form of the Mustang Mach-E, which is an all-electric 5 door crossover. But the focus of this video will be on the legendary original Mustang model. This 2019 model we have here represents the Mustang's sixth and, as of 2022, still current generation, which made its debut for the 2015 model year. The 6th Gen Mustang was completely new for 2015, also having come out exactly 50 years after the Mustang debuted. Its all-new platform also brought to the Mustang a fully independent suspension setup. This Mustang generation was also the first one to be sold on a global scale, making it the first Mustang generation to see factory-produced right-hand drive variants. The 5th generation Mustang is sold as either the two-door fastback coupe or a two-door convertible like we have here. This generation started out with just the V6, EcoBoost, and GT variants, but over the next few years you had some special higher performance versions come out, like most notably the Shelby GT350 and GT350R, and the crazy 760 horsepower Shelby GT500. Those plus tons and tons of other special edition and upgraded performance versions. 2018 saw the 6th gen Mustang get probably its biggest overall update, which gave non-Shelby models a brand new front end look. 2018 also brought in some things like an available fully digital gauge cluster, a new 10-speed automatic transmission, and some upgrades to the GT's V8 engine, as well as a big boost in torque for EcoBoost models. The base V6 engine was also discontinued, leaving the EcoBoost turbo 4-cylinder as the new base engine offering. So for the US market 2019 model year Mustang, the lineup was as follows. EcoBoost, GT, Bullet, and the Shelby GT350 and GT350R duo. EcoBoost models use a 2.3-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine with a pretty potent 310 horsepower. The GT has a good old 5-liter V8 with 460 horsepower. The Bullet is based on the GT but has a couple of performance upgrades, and is an homage to the 68 Mustang Fastback in the movie Bullet. Finally, the Shelby models, both the GT350 and the track-ready GT350R, use a 5.2-liter V8 cranking out 526 horsepower. Within the EcoBoost and GT variants, you also have two sub-trim levels, which are the base and the more well-equipped premium like this one. As far as transmissions go, EcoBoost and GT models can have either a 6-speed manual or a 10-speed auto. On the other hand, the Bullet and both Shelbys for 2019 can only be had with a 6-speed manual. 
As for body styles, EcoBoost, EcoBoost Premium, and GT Premium could be had as either a fastback or convertible. The rest are fastback only. In the instrument cluster, you have four analog gauges, which are your tachometer, speedometer, fuel gauge, and temperature gauge. And then front and center is a pretty large and substantial information display, which can be gone through via the buttons here on the steering wheel. This one's pretty cool. You have track apps. You know, drive, current drive mode and steering mode. You have real-time G-forces. You can time your 0 to 60s, quarter miles, all that kind of stuff. Test the brakes. Even got lap timers. Really cool. It has a bespoke design, leather wrapped, multifunctional steering wheel. There are sport grips at 10 and 2. And as for controls, on this side you have your audio controls, along with your cruise control. And then on this side you have your hands free film controls and information display controls. And there are paddle shifters to manually shift the transmission. It is a tilt and telescopic steering wheel. a little bit of storage for the driver along with your trunk release button, your main headlight control switch, air vent. On this side is your high beam and turn signal stock. And this side is your wiper stock. Going down the center of the interior, Got your air vents, this nice kind of faux brushed aluminum look. Right here is the touchscreen interface for your SYNC 3 infotainment system. Some physical controls for that as well. You have your dual zone automatic climate control. You also get three stage heated and cooled front seats. A little bit of storage, your push button ignition. You have your hazard switch. You have your traction control and your steering feel and drive mode selectors. For steering, you have normal mode, sport mode, and comfort mode. And then for the drive mode, you've got normal, sport plus, track, drag strip, and snow wet. That's pretty awesome. You also got a USB port and a power outlet. Putting it in reverse reveals a backup camera. The parking brake is hand operated. You have two cup holders, center console with more storage, another power outlet, and another USB port. The glove box is lockable. Both sun visors do have vanity mirrors and lights. Your overhead lighting. And your power convertible top, which we will be putting down. Just before we quickly go over the SYNC 3 infotainment system, I'm extremely familiar with this system. I've said in tons of videos that I really like it. But you got AM, FM, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth audio streaming as your music sources, your radio screen, You've got a lot of your climate controls through this, phone for pair of phone, different apps, and then vehicle settings. Very simple, straightforward, clean system. Four to sense 
Ford has since, of course, replaced Sync 3 and some of their newer models, but Sync 3 is the one that I'm very familiar with the past couple years. But now we'll go ahead and lower the convertible top. And have a look at the engine bay. The Eco Boost Premium Trip adds these 18 inch 5 split scope machined alloy rims with ebony black accents. Powering the EcoBoost Premium is the Mustang's base engine for 2019, that engine being Ford's EcoBoost 2.3-liter twin-scroll turbocharged inline-four. It's an aluminum dual-overhead cam 16-valve power plant with twin independent variable cam timing. In 2019 models, it produces 310 horsepower at 5500 RPM and 350 pound-feet of torque at 3000 RPM. Power is sent solely to the rear wheels, and this Mustang uses the optional 10-speed select shift automatic transmission. Running on regular unleaded with a 15.5 gallon fuel tank, EPA estimates for Mustangs equipped like this one are about 20 mpg in the city and 28 mpg on the highway. It uses a McPherson strut front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension. Stopping the Mustang are of course four-wheel disc brakes. Curb weight for Mustangs equipped like this one is about 3,700 pounds. And we'll complete the rest of the tour with the top down. But now we'll check out these back seats. Back here, you do have storage pockets on the back of the seats. Pretty small back seat, but that's not really a valid complaint when it comes to a Mustang. As you saw earlier, the fuel door is on the driver's side, and this does have a capless fuel filler. Dual exhaust. The trunk of the Mustang convertible offers 11.4 cubic feet of space. With these covers, you can put these on top of here while the top's down to make it look nicer. Anyhow, thanks for checking out this tour of this 2019 Ford Mustang. And as always, stay on the lookout for future tours.